It's my pleasure to welcome to the program the new manager of the Laramie Rangers Legion Baseball Program, Mike Mendenhall, joining me. And, uh, Mike, thanks for coming on the show with me tonight to finally get a chance to catch up with you. I know the news broke here oh, about a couple weeks back now. And, uh, first of all, how does that sound, Mike Mendenhall, manager Laramie Rangers? You know, it sounds great. You know, being a Laramie native, I love Laramie. I love baseball. Laramie is where I grew up, obviously, and I grew up playing for the Rangers. So an opportunity to be the head coach of the Rangers is you know, ultimately an ideal coaching job for me. Well, talk a little bit about uh, how this uh, came about. Obviously, you uh, you spent one summer here as an assistant coach back in 2011. Uh, you mentioned the fact you're a graduate. You played for the Rangers. Let's see, I'm dating myself, so I'm going to say the last year Mike Mendenhall was the 2005 season. Am I correct? Yep. All right. 2005. All right. So then you go on, you play college ball. You're out in Nebraska right now. Uh, and where you've been the last few years, I know you were uh, in charge of their Legion program here recently. Uh, oh, you know, just you found out about uh, the job. Is is it just the fact of coming home kind of piqued your interest? Yeah, I kind of heard through the grapevine that you know Rich resigned, and some, you know I have quite a few friends back there, and they sent me text messages, "Hey, this job's opening up. This job's opening up." And I, you know, I talked to my wife a little bit, and you know, it seemed like a pretty good opportunity for us, and. You know, honestly, it happened so fast. It happened in the past three weeks. You know, three weeks ago, I was in the Cook Legion baseball head coach scheduling games, going to Bandor working with those guys. And then last weekend, or two weekends ago, excuse me, I was at the scheduling meeting, you know, being the Landry Rangers head coach. So it's been a quick transition. Yeah, no doubt about that. How do you think things will be kind of coming home, so to speak? I mean, sometimes that there's a little mix of good and bad with that. I think it'll be good. You know, I have, obviously, I have family back there, and, you know, I have two kids now, so, you know, Laramie is a great community to raise your kids at, so I'm we're really excited for this opportunity. How are things, uh, or how have things gone here over the last couple of weeks in terms of, you know, having those conversations with parents and trying to find, you know, and, and build your coaching staff, and obviously you mentioned the uh, Legion meeting. It has been kind of a a whirlwind for you, but how have the last couple of weeks kind of gone once the announcement was made? It's been it's been pretty good. I've had a lot of community involvement, you know, people that have been around the program the past few years kind of filling me in on how things are going. Um, you know, as far as the coaching staff, I've talked to a few guys. We're still working on, you know, finding a junior varsity coach. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as everything else, it's been pretty good. You know, scheduling has been a little bit of a transition as well. You know, I have all my contacts out here in Nebraska. So, you know, going back, thinking of who we played back in high school, looking at the previous schedules and whatnot. And just that's that's been the difficult part of the scheduling so far. Talking with Mike Mendenhall, new manager of the Laramie Rangers, coming home. The former Laramie High School grad and Laramie Rangers stand out uh, coming back home to coach the uh, Rangers. Talk a little bit about uh, at this point, Mike. Uh, obviously, you haven't seen your team, but just you know, do you have a feel of where this program's at and kind of maybe your own vision of where you'd like it to go, uh, particularly here in your first year? You know, we we played them. You know, McCook played them last year, and I know I saw a lot of quality players. Um, I've talked to some of the local people, like the community, like I said before, and kind of gave me an update about some of the guys, and, you know, I researched their stats and all that. But, you know, I think that Laramie needs to honestly be competing at a double-A level, and that's what actually we will be competing at this year. The state, uh, That's what we found out at the state meeting in Casper the other day, so... I, you know, obviously I want to be able to compete at the double-A level with the Cheyennes and the Gillettes and the Caspers and those teams, which, you know, it starts from the bottom. you got to keep kids interested. And, you know, kids nowadays like to go to their football camps, their basketball camps and all that in the summer. But, you know, we're willing to work around all that just to keep kids interested and whatnot. Well, and for you, uh, you know, the decision to go double-A, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, when the news came out that Saturday, I wasn't frankly surprised because I you know, I just kind of get the feeling that you're relishing that challenge of getting this program back to competing at that double-A level where it was when you were a player. Yeah, you know, I've heard the past couple of years they've been down at the A level, which, you know, I'm obviously not used to that. We used to have 10 or 11 teams in the state that were um, – 
double A. So, you know, I'm excited for the challenge and, you know, I think the kids will be as well once, you know, I get back in and start getting into the indoor and getting to work. How how did the how would you describe that first statewide scheduling meeting that you had to attend in Casper a couple weekends back? How would you describe that? It was a lot different than our meetings out here. You know, there's a ton of information, learning what's been going on in the state. You know, they obviously want to better baseball as a whole in Wyoming, and they think the way to go is to, you know, have more double A teams. You know, like it used to be in the past, not just four or five. I mean. A state tournament with four double A teams is not really a state tournament at all. So I think it's you know I think it's good overall, and I think that Wyoming Legion baseball as a whole is starting to go in the right direction. Talking with Mike Mendenhall, new manager of the Lemmy Rangers here, Sports Line Live on a Tuesday. David Settle with you on KOWB. Mike, for folks that are unfamiliar with you or don't remember you back in your playing days, uh, obviously you've had coaching experience, as I mentioned before, uh, with the Legion program here mm-hmm. and out in McCook, Nebraska, uh, a little college coaching experience. Uh, what's kind of your philosophy? What What is your background in terms of what people can expect on the field when they go out and watch the Rangers out at Cowboy Field this summer? My, I mean, my main philosophy just strictly for baseball is pitching and defense. You know, if you can have that, you're going to put yourself into a good situation to win a game. But sort of the behind-the-scenes philosophy is, you know, communication and creating good relationships with the players and the people that are involved to kind of, you know, have a good networking together and whatnot just so you can be all on the same page. I'm going to throw a difficult one. Yeah, obviously, okay. obviously, it's one of those situations where you're probably not walking into, uh, you know, the perfect landscape, so to speak, as a manager. How do you uh, deal with, you know, the difficulties that come, you know, with, you know, parents that might not be happy or players that aren't happy for whatever reason? How do you deal with that in terms of your managerial style? kind of like towards my answer to the previous question it's okay. you know communication truly is the key to success you know and creating creating those relationships with them and you know i'm not trying to be these kids best friend but you know we're going to be a family as a whole you know we're going to spend a lot of time together and i think that the parents will understand you know what i'm trying to do and create and learn me to be a better program as a whole you know, in the past here, I you know, you, you'll have those times where someone might not agree with you or something, but, you know, just communication is going to help solve a lot of those problems. Yeah, because I'm sorry, folks, but not everybody's son can be an all-star. <laughs> the game just doesn't work out like that, I guess, Mike. It's one of those uh, interesting uh, pieces. I'll, I'll follow up the hard one with kind of a, a softball for you. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, do you as a coach, do you – you know, say, hey, you know, I've I've been down that path before. Is that something where you can relate to maybe some player issues being, you know, not too far removed from your playing days and and how you played at a high level in this Legion program? Yeah, definitely. You know, like you said, not of course, being a parent, I'm a new parent now. You think your kids are going to be the best at everything, and you know that's not always going to be the case. You know, I'm going to be fair. I'm you do the best I can to compete and win games. And, you know, that's what it's going to come down to. But, you know, I'll do what I have to do to create good relationships with everybody and, you know, have a good season all together. Mike Mendenhall, our guest, Sportsline Live here on a Tuesday on KOWB. I'm David Settle. Uh, Mike, obviously, uh, you know, it'll be uh, fun having you back. Uh, what, what have some of the comments, some of the feedback you've gotten so far, what's it been like uh, here over the last couple weeks? It's been, you know, honestly, it's been outstanding. Just the community support I've had so far. You know, I've talked to some of the people that were involved when I was playing and, you know, some of the coaches, like the coaches meeting, talking to them, like Coach Cheyenne's um, assistant coach, Tag, Tag's brother, you know, he said, that's great, you know, the program needs to start going up from here, you know, to get higher. I, I've had a ton of support, a lot of positive comments and feedback, so it's been it's been great so far. What's uh, what are some of your next steps that you have to take right now? Well, so far, well, I need a. I'm moving back to Laramie in about a month from now, so I really need to put something together and have a parent player meeting. You know, 
get introduced to them and then get a schedule for the indoor and all that. I, I right now I have about forty seven games scheduled. Wow. You know, in three weeks. So it's I've been doing a lot of emailing and a lot of that. It's it's been it's been a fun <laughs> process, but it'll it'll get a lot easier the years to come. Yeah, no doubt about it. What's the schedule like? Uh, you mentioned you've got your own contacts there, what and and how you've kind of had to uh, you know balance uh, what you've done in the past with you know some of the the things that uh, the Rangers have done, uh, you know, past versus future. What what does the schedule kind of look like right now? Um, well, so far. We're going to go to a tournament in Rock Springs early because they're going to be a double A team, so it's a familiar opponent. I'd like to play them. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be going to a tournament in at Mountain View, actually. Um, that's in Loveland, Colorado. Okay. We're going to go back to the North Platte tournament. I know their coach pretty well. They're going to get some quality teams from Lincoln going out there. Wow! And I've heard I've heard a lot of good things about the spearfish tournament that they went to last year. So we're going to be back in that okay. as well as uh, hosting our own tournament, which, you know, having a tournament is a difficult thing to do. Just emailing and getting, you know, those <laughs> dates correct with other teams. It's, it's been tough, but we're going to have a pretty competitive schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you've got to, if you want to step up to that double A level, because, uh, Honestly, Mike, I mean, even from my perspective, it, there's there's a pretty good gap between where we're at and where Cheyenne and Gillette and Casper are at right now, and you, you can just see that in the few games that we've played against them in the last few years. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's kind of what I've done in the past here in McCook. I've beefed up our schedule just so, you know, once we make it to state, we're going to be able to compete with those Lincoln and Omaha teams, and it's the same thing here. you got to play quality competition in order to be able to compete with those teams so you know i'm excited for it how much of a benefit is in your mind stepping up to the double a level just maybe to you know get some kids that might have been on the fringe in terms of their interest maybe back involved with the program how how much of a benefit is there well i think competing at the highest level is you know always going to be a benefit you know i think this year we have seven seniors and there's a huge gap and between players, there's a bunch of 15, 16 year olds. So it'll be, you know, for the seniors, it'll be great because you know there's a lot of quality seniors. But for the younger kids, it's going to be even better just moving up through the ranks, playing quality opponents day in, day out. Well, Mike, uh, certainly happy to have you on board. We wish you nothing but the best. And uh, with that, I, uh, I appreciate your time tonight. We'll uh, let you go, and we'll see you when you get back in town here in about a month. Appreciate it. Thanks.